Hey, uh, this is Jay with Heavenly Harvest. Today is Saturday, June the 26th, and it's time for my two-week update. And once again, I'm so excited. Um, everything is going so well. Believe it or not, I've already picked about 20 tomatoes. I, I, I can't believe it myself. My friends and neighbors are, you know, everybody's excited. So let's hear Let's get right to it. First of all, the only problem that I had was that, uh, for, let me get back so you can see. First of all, the only problem that I had was that uh, the plants have you know, gotten so tall, they're about seven and a half foot tall, maybe eight foot tall. They got so tall, and with the tomatoes being so big and heavy, it weighed the plants down pretty much, so I had to really get in there and support them a lot with twine. Um, it got so big, the, the tomatoes got so heavy that um, they split right off of the vine. I think it was like five or six sets of them, like right here. And there's other places, but let me show you the tomatoes. These are some big ones, boy. These are Aunt Ruby's big green tomatoes. They're not going to turn red. They're going to stay green. But and also, like, but I have tomatoes everywhere, so it's no big deal. Uh, also, as far as remember, we were talking about cuttings, uh, and people talk about pruning, like this here, pruning and pinching this kind of stuff out. But let me show you what I did. I, I uh, took one off of there. Uh -oh. I took uh, one of the big ones off. Here it is here. Let me see if I can hold my arm out far enough so you can see. But look what I did. I took it and I uh, just cut this whole sucker off. I put it in that rapid rooter starter plug, as you see there. I put it in the jar of water. <laughs> like, not a jar of water, but let me get it. I put it in this jar. And I sat in the windowsill facing north or east because south side would be too hot. I just you know, put maybe a quarter inch of water, maybe five, six teaspoons of water, and tablespoons of water in there. And I let it sit there and it rooted. So this is a whole other plant. Don't throw your suckers in, away, for God's sake. Plant them and you'll get an entirely new plant as you see here. Anyway, back to my video here. So I have uh, tomatoes on every plant all the way around, as you can see. Tomatoes on all my plants here. And then my peppers. If you remember, here's one of the totes, actually, that I sell um, for $69 free shipping. Now, this tote, this, will, this is the tote that had the other Car Caribbean red habaneros in it. But I took them out and put them in their own five-gallon buckets, as you can see here. And they have uh, habanero peppers on them. These are Caribbean reds. These are not the regular ones that you normally see. These are a lot hotter. These are about 450,000 Scoville units, where the other ones are about 300, 330,000 Scoville units. The orange or the yellow habaneros are. These peppers are only second they're the second hottest pepper. They're only second to the ghost peppers, which I would never even try to eat one of those things. We have plenty of flowers, and I'm going to have plenty of uh, peppers. But I, I took them out of the system because uh, someone wants to buy the system here. So I took my peppers out and went to clean it up and sell it to a buddy of mine. And these are some uh, these are uh, good nutrients to use. Botanic Care Organic Nutrients. There's another one. This is Grow. This is micro, they call it liquid karma, but it's micro, and then there's a bloom. So, this is what you want to get. Wormsway.com But again, like I said, I have peppers on all my, uh oh, tomato plants everywhere. Let me show you those sweeties. Remember we were talking in the last video where I was saying how many tomatoes I was going to have on that one row? Well, here they are now. There's about 20 or 25 tomatoes on this row here. And I have like five of these rows all around the whole plant. This is in a grow bag for sweeties. Grow bags are like, uh, I don't know, a dollar each, 75 cents each. These are my, these are how big these are. These are going to stay green.
tomatoes galore. Um, I guess that's all I really wanted to show you guys. Oh yeah, get you a good sun hat. A good sun hat. You can work a lot longer in the shade than you can in the sun. That's the best advice I can give you for being outside. Work in the shade. Get a, get you a good sun hat. Anyway, if you guys want to buy one of my systems, let me know. Uh, my number is 513-371-6586. Or if you have any questions, you can call or text me. I'll be sure to answer them to the best of my knowledge. Um, thanks a lot, guys. And uh, I'll see you. I think I'll shoot a video every week now because I'm getting too much. Too much is going on. So thanks a lot, and I'll see you next Saturday.